peekaboo. Peek-a, peek-a, peek-a-boo. Whisper, whisper, whisper. But Penelope is not very good at a quiet voice or a whispering voice. She's not good at that at all. And that's why this book is titled The Loud Librarian. Oh dear, oh dear. Most libraries are not whispering libraries. Most libraries, like our library, is a just inside voice library. I bet you know what that is. Penelope has a hard time with this. So we're going to read The Loud Librarian. This book was written by Jenna Beatrice. The pictures, the illustrations are by Erica Lynn Jones. And this book was published by Anthenium Books for Young Readers. Let's find out what Penelope does. She comes up with a plan, friends. There she is right there. Here we go, friends. It's Monday, said Mr. Park. Time to select our new student librarian. Penelope teetered on the edge of her seat. This week, student librarian is Penelope. Penelope nearly fell over. She had prepared all year for this moment. At home, Penelope had practiced her alphabetizing, her book cart pushing, and her due date stickering. Penelope was perfect for the job. Friendly, check. Helpful, check. Book lover, check. There was just one itsy bitsy thunderous snag. Penelope was loud. Hi, I'm Penelope. What did you have for lunch? Can you do our cartwheel? Even the International Space Station registered Penelope's vocal cords. Hello up there. Do you like ice cream? Extraterrestrials? Nope, just Penelope. But nothing could stop Penelope from her dream of becoming a librarian. Welcome, said Miss Barry. Let's get started. Penelope expertly pushed the book cart across the silent library. Nearby, her classmates sat reading and studying and... What do you know about flamingos? Clunk, rattle, zing. That's okay, said Miss Barry, but remember, libraries need library voices. Penelope nodded and scurried to put the books back onto the cart. Next, Penelope took charge of the computer sign-in sheet. She wrote down students' first names and last names and... Have you ever seen a snowball in the summer? It's crunch. Oh dear, said Miss Barry. Remember, library voices are quiet. Penelope wiped her sweaty palms and cleared her throat quietly. At the reference desk, Penelope was on the lookout for anyone searching for a... What's your favorite dinosaur? Crack, boom, crash. Watch out, the sky is falling. It's literally falling. Let's go play dodgeball, it's safer. The once tidy library looked like it had been hit by an asteroid. Penelope's heart sank to her toes. 
Maybe she wasn't perfect for the job after all. Loud, check. Messy, check. The library's new interior destructor, check. Penelope's cheeks burned as she slumped to the door. Library voices were quiet and Penelope was, mm, Penelope paused. Not all library voices were quiet. An idea ignited for takeoff story time. Every Thursday at 3 p.m., bring your favorite book. Penelope went straight to work. Soon, eager students began to gather. Penelope was ready. And then the astronaut said to the farmer, don't worry about the pig's birthday party. I'll plan it. The group erupted in giggles. Miss Barry did too. And Penelope beamed. Thanks for coming. See you tomorrow for Penelope Storytime. Roger that, Penelope. Over and out. Everybody fits at the library. Penelope found the perfect thing for her. I miss you, friends. Mwah!